So let's uh, start off by creating a group company. Now, how do you create a group company? So uh, in Tally Prime, uh, uh, it's very easy to create a group company. So the first step is uh, you just go to the company option. So this is the main screen of Tally as uh, you might be knowing. So this is called the gateway of Tally where we, uh, so it's like a home screen uh, you know, on a mobile phone, right? So uh, this is where we do all the, you know, creations and the entries and all those kind of things. So creating a group company, on the top, you can see there is option called company. So I'll click on company. I'll create a new company over here. Yeah. So uh, to create a group company, you just come to this option here called company. We'll click on create. And on the right hand side, so this screen might be very familiar with to, to all. So this is where we create our normal companies, yeah, individual companies. In the same screen on the right hand side, you can see this option called as group company. So if it is a group company, all you have to do is you just click on group company and then a second screen pops up over here. Yeah, so uh, I'll just create a, a, a group company. Restro trading LLC. Yeah, so this is my group company name that I'm giving it as. And uh, I can give uh, uh, the address over here. So for example, it's in uh, JLT. Dubai, yeah, and here I can change the country. I'm giving whatever is the country. I'll select UAE, I'll select Dubai, I'll provide the PO box number, I'll provide the telephone number, email in case if there is any. Yeah, normal creation on how you create. Now, in case if you want to add member companies to this, now at the last once everything is done, you can see there is option called member companies. In case if uh, the company is already created, you can just select the company. So I'll just go ahead and select the company. So I'll click on select company. You can see there is already a lot of companies that is uh, created. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, go ahead and select the company that I wanted to add this. So I'll just select one more company over here. Yeah, so what I've done here is I've created a group company. Uh, the Bristro Trading is my group company name. And under that, you know, I've created, uh, uh, I've added two member companies, which is a Tally Solutions. And uh, there is another a project company that I've created. So this is how easy it is to kind of, you know, uh, uh, create a group company. Now, once everything is done, you can just go ahead, accept this. Yeah, so now you can see over here on the left hand side, you can see the main company that is opened is Bristro Trading. And under that, you know, you have uh, uh, all your member companies uh, opened up also. So just by a click of a button, you can switch between companies. You can go to group company. If you want to open this company, just by a click of a button, you can, you know, kind of uh, uh, do all those. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, uh, do one uh, uh, purchase and sales in this because already in the member companies, I've just created some entries. So I'll just go to uh, Bristol Trading. So normal, we just go to uh, vouchers. I'll do a, a purchase entry. Yeah, so I'll just select uh, uh, some suppliers over here. It's a normal purchase entry just to record some purchases and show you how it is coming in the report. I'm just creating some purchase entries over here. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll just select a few more uh, items. Yeah, so I've just made a purchase in this, uh, uh, you know, this uh, particular company. Now, how do you view a report? How do you consolidate? If Say, for example, I already have a couple of transactions in these uh, other companies. Now, I wanted to view all these reports, uh, you know, in a consolidated way or maybe individual wise, depending upon how you want to view it. How to do that? It is very easy. All you have to do is, say, for example, I'm taking up uh, say for, uh, this balance sheet. Yeah. Now, balance sheet, as you can see, it is uh, it is showing for me the group company. Yeah, it is showing for Bristol Trading. Yeah. Now, how do I uh, add, say, for example, I wanted to, uh, just one minute. Yeah. yeah. Now, I wanted to, uh, uh, you know, kind of view for my group company. I, I wanted to see my other company reports also. How do I do that in the same screen? It is very easy to do. On the right hand side, there is option called new column. Yeah, so on the new column, if you click over here, you can see the name of company. 
yeah say for example i wanted to see for tally solutions yeah so i click on tally solutions and then i just go ahead and save it now as you can see it is showing me for the consolidated company brusto trading as well and for my particular tally solutions individual company as well so this is how you can view it now again if i want my third company's uh, report to be shown over here i just go to uh, the select the uh, third company i just go ahead and do it so as you can see on the right hand side it is created one more company for me yeah so this is how i can view my consolidated report as well yeah you can just directly import or you can export this into excel you can export this into pdf and all those kind of things you can do that yeah similar way it is uh, it is the same way for uh, you know uh, for all the uh, transactions so even if you go to your uh, stock summary yeah so this is just a particular normal stock summary that is uh, shown over here now again as you can see it is uh, shown for bristol trading llc now in case if i wanted to show it for my other uh, companies all i have to do is i can just go to uh, new column option over here i select the second company and then you know i can just select uh, uh, different uh, uh, parameters that is mentioned over here depending upon what you want and then as you can see on the right hand side my other company details are also coming in so this is how easy it is to create and maintain group companies in uh, tally yeah similar way if i go to my display more report if i go to my statement of accounts i go to my outstanding i go to my receivables now uh, receivables it uh, uh, just uh, i'll just configure this uh, otherwise okay yeah so this is again uh, shown at a uh, uh, group level only so this is where uh, you know we can uh, uh this again it shows as a group level only now in case if you wanted to change the company from here you can select the company and you can uh, kind of get the uh, uh, receivables and payables as well yeah so that is how uh, uh, the group uh, grouping works it's similar for trial balance as well so in any report if you go you can just click on the new column and you can get it directly from there yeah so that is how uh, group company creation and group company uh, uh, reporting and all